It's half time at the Emirates Stadium. Arsenal nil. Watford nil. The job is half done and the Hornets are frustrating the Gunners in match week 11 of the Premier League ahead of another and the final international break of 2021. Come on, the lads. This is much more, more like it. We've seen the intensity. We've seen some chances for Watford. We could well have been in front. But we've done very well to do what we wanted to do, which is stay in there. Stay hanging by a thread. Keep the game at 0-0. And you never know what could happen. But it's really good from Watford. And we're fighting. We're frustrating Arsenal. And actually... Yeah, as I mentioned, we had a few chances of our own. So, yeah, going into this game, obviously, the lineup looked really nice. Um, if you didn't catch it, go to my Instagram. It is, of course, lower cap Roberto underscore the underscore pro. We did a match preview and prediction of that game. I predicted an Arsenal 2 0 win, but I was hopeful for a 1 0 Watford. Let's hope that's the kind of game it will bit turn out to be if we just hold out and then take a chance of our own. But ultimately, the lineup was looking really nice. And Kulu, good to see him start and see what he's made of. Um, also good to see that Feminia came back in, although Ngaki was playing quite well. Dennis, much needed back in. And also good to see Tufan in there. And Tufan has been brilliant so far, I think, along with Judai Kutska. So, really good start for Watford. However, the start for the game was not exactly ideal. So, let's get into that. Um, basically, it was quite chilly and windy conditions. We were thinking, was this going to be kind of a match where Watford have a classic away performance where... They just show nothing and they're a bit of a dead rubber. But, you know, at the end of the day, Watford did look under the cost from very early on. So right now we're hanging on very well. and We're actually defending well and it's much better because we had a period sustained in the in the second half, in the first half, sorry, about 10 or 15 minutes um, where we had a lot more of possession. We were starting to get back into the game. But it starts off where basically there's a chance for Arsenal and they basically... Fred it through and look, I'll admit the defence is too static and Foster, he comes out and he doesn't get it. So again, positioning, a bit rash to try and claim that one because he can't get it and basically just nothing was, was going to say that that was, you know, a good decision. But unfortunately, that's all the way it worked out. It comes out to Aubameyang, poor touch, and then it comes out to Saka, he finishes it off. And despite the efforts of Nkulu on the goal line, um, it goes in. So you're like, oh dear, this is not good. Seven minutes or six minutes in, Saka already 1-0 to the Arsenal. And it's going to be a long game if that was the case. But we did see that VAR correctly ruled it to be offside because Saka was in an offside position. Look, if Aubameyang had just been a bit more clinical, then maybe Arsenal would be 1-0 up. But ultimately, really good to see that. Obviously, let's just say make out nothing happened, eh? It was a bit of a interesting and hairy start but nah nothing happened and uh we got bailed out a little bit there but ultimately the positioning of foster he's definitely made up for that and i'll get on to that but um yeah that was good to see so get in for that uh defensively though we need to be sharper the start of games we need to just be very alert and intense in terms of our defending that was a bit of a let off so it was a bit of a silly way to give away the penalty um ultimately that came after, um, just reckless. Danny Rose, a player who's got a lot of experience, a lot of know-how of how to defend and how to certain, uh, you know, deal with certain opponents. But he just is his thinking went out the window, and it was just irrational. Basically, just tried to get the ball, but he completely missed it and completely went into Aubameyang, and unfortunately he led with the arm. And yeah, he is experienced, but there was no sign of that, unfortunately, and no show of it. So. He got absolutely nothing of the ball. Fair enough. Penalty to Arsenal. Um, and they were checking whether it, I think it was a red card. But it was never going to be, realistically. Didn't even get a yellow, so we'll take that. But what a save from Ben Foster. The cycling GK. I tell you what. He made the save against uh, Aubameyang, uh, Emi Martinez, in that game the last few weeks ago. But then it was such a powerful one, he could only parry it. And then Aubameyang obviously followed it in. But today, that was a really powerful penalty from Aubameyang he drills it it's a bit like Troy Deeney straight down the middle but he you know it's very easy for a goalkeeper to commit one way or the next left or right and just be like okay realistically unless I guess one way or the other I'm not going to save it but Foster was really clever he stood on his line he kept in the game and he really watched where he hit the ball and how he hit it with the technique of the inside of the foot so it's brilliant stuff 
to see that fantastic save, the combination of the fist and the leg, just to kind of like make the the power of the penalty get uh, lessened. And then the brilliant thing is just to make the penalty as well, but then to make the save and then to receive it and to grab it before Aubameyang could follow in. So fantastic from the cycling GK. And I got to tell you what, he really did uh, bail out Danny Rose there. But um, ultimately, a really important moment for Watford to stay in that game. And I think that penalty save and also the, the goal getting disallowed for, for Arsenal gave Watford belief. And that's where we started to come into the game and make it a bit more of a lively contest, which is really good to see. Um, so, yeah, ultimately, really, really good from that point of view. But, look, we, we have chances, right? Jurai Kutzka has been playing really well. Um, a fantastic piece of tackling, once again, gets in the thick of things. And he was really unlucky, I thought, to get a booking because he won the ball cleanly from behind. But because it's a tackle from behind, it seems to always get a booking, which is just unfair, really. Um, but anyway, great tackle to dispossess. I think it was Lakonga in the middle of the park. And amazing little dribbling. Just gets past him, faints past him like he's not there. Really, really clever. Uh, and then a good shot. But unfortunately, it was deflected off Ben White and just wide of the post. So unlucky there. Um, and then a really, really nice free kick routine. I mean, this is certainly one on the training ground. And that's great to see from Watford. Really clever the way we're trying to varying things up. We don't score a lot of goals from set pieces. We know that Arsenal score a lot from set pieces. And it's good that we've been defensively really resolute and heading away any crosses. So that's hopefully something we keep up in the second half. But yeah, really nice from our point of view. Um, great corner. Um, and as I mentioned, Ozan Tufan has been playing really well. But then it's put out to Joshua King. King's really clever because he's kind of standing on the goal line where Ramsdale is. And then he moves forward and he comes to, you know, the, the edge of the box, basically. He comes to near the goal, but kind of almost by the post. And then he just lays it back on a really nice touch for Danny Rose. And you think, this is it. Steaming in. It's going to be like the ninth minute goal against Spurs on his debut. Uh, sorry, against Arsenal for Spurs on his debut. You know, it would be so sweet for an ex-Tottenham player to get the goal against the Gunners. But, you know, it's an unfortunate one because although the product, uh, you know, is usually there with Danny Rose, and I'll admit, from a defensive point of view, he's been awful so far. He's just been really sloppy. Needs to cut out a bit of that. We are look, looking at a few tight ropes. Like, both Arsenal and Watford have got a lot of players booked right now. Joshua King, very early on in the game, is a bit harsh. Um, didn't think he was intentionally leading with the arm. Uh, we've also got a booking for... Um, for Tommy Asu, um, after he kind of really hacked down his Sar. So it's 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 going to be a bit of a nervy one. But ultimately, um, it was unfortunate because he just didn't really catch it right. Danny Rose missed, hit it a little bit, uh, couldn't get the power in it, and it, a good um, block from Ben White. Um, and then, yeah, just a few defensive errors. But look, we're, we're getting back in time. We're making saves, and Foster really looking solid at the minute. So good to see that um, from the cycling GK. Um, and he makes another fantastic save from a corner. Um, and it's whipped in and it's a similar situation to the Leicester game. A really good header from Gabriel. And that is a fantastic save from Ben Foster because it's hit down into the ground. It's bouncing. He doesn't know where it's going. And he measures it perfectly to predict how to save, use his leg and just kind of palm it away uh, and beat it away with his leg. Really, really brilliant. So what a Great piece of a uh, goalkeeping positioning. Moves his feet to uh, to make the save. And uh, just some of the balls that we're, we're putting into, into Ismail Asar right now need to be better. On the break, we have got pace. We've got a lot of ability, a lot of quality. But if we're going to clip it through to Ismail Asar, we need to give him the right service. Get it into his feet and then he can drive. Rather than clip a ball over the top and hope that Saar can somehow get around the player that Arsenal have got who've received the ball. And then just tackle it off him. That's not going to happen. And, you know, a lot of the time we need to inject a bit more pace into our attacks because we'll slow down and let Arsenal get back into shape. So, yeah, ultimately, it's a good game for Watford so far. As I mentioned, with those Rose and Kutzka chances, some little nearly moments, but ultimately really good from Watford. Staying in the game was the key thing today, and we've really achieved that so far. But we've just got to carry it on. It's a really difficult thing. With Arsenal being the home team, they're going to have momentum from the re previous results. But we know we can keep on going, hopefully, Grab a goal on the break from someone like Emmanuel Dennis, who did a brilliant piece of skill to get past Lacazette. That was fantastic. Um, and as I mentioned, two fans have been brilliant. Um, it's actually not been that great for Nkulu, but, you know, it's very early into his debut. Um, Kafkart is just, he gets me nervous. Like, his, his mistakes are sometimes uh, quite clear to see. But I want to see Kiko and Saar link up a bit better in the second half. We know they can, but 
we haven't quite seen it so far. Um, and hopefully, yeah, push Sarr a little bit further forward. You know, we're looking at someone like Nuno Tavares, who doesn't offer the same as Kieran Tierney, but we really need to, if Tavares stays on, really get at him with, with his Milo Sarr. Um, and yeah, hopefully just give Josh King a bit more service because we haven't really been getting him into the game. He's, you know, had a few good pieces of hold-up play, but need to be doing more and uh, involving him with more shots. So ultimately, midfield's looking better. Defence is looking as solid as you can be with two disallowed goals. Well, I say disallowed, a penalty save. But ultimately, so far so good. Let's keep going. Don't ever give up.